Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now let we discuss about the title of the process. The title of the process is a soil classification using data mining techniques. A comparative study of soil classification using data mining techniques. The main objective of the process is to classify the soils using some algorithm called on specific classifier is called as a fuzzy classification algorithm. It is used to generate the rules for defining membership functions for input attributes in the data set. Soil classification deals with the methodological categorization of soil based on differentiating characteristics of the soils. This is the main objective of the process. Now let me discuss about the abstract of our process. So in our process we are going to do uh, soil classification. So soil classification is nothing but a uh, grouping of soils by using uh, their intrinsic properties such as soil morphology, behavior, or genesis results in classes that can be interpreted for many diverse users. Differing concepts of pathogenesis and differences in the significance of morphological features to various land uses can affect the classification approach. This is in can contrast to a technical system approach to soil classification where soils are grouped according to their fitness for a specific use and their graphic characteristics. By using fuzzy classification member function process can iterate the system accuracy. Now let me discuss about the data flow diagram of our process. First we have to uh, select the input data set because our uh, process is under the domain called uh, data mining. So first we have to uh, choose the complete soil data. In this we have to, uh, after we select the data, we have to uh, load the data set into the database. After the data set load into the database, we have to pre-process the data. So uh, in the pre-processing, we are uh, eliminating the unwanted values in the data set that is called data cleaning. After we pre-process the data set, we have to extract the data set. After the extract, uh, data extraction process is completed, we have to define the rules that is called fuzzy rules. We have to construct the rules for every attribute in the data set. After that, after constructing the rules, um, we have to fix the constraints for classifying the soils. After fix the uh, constraints for classifying, we have to specify the functions. After the function specification is completed, we have to predict the, we are going to predict the soil predictions based on some soil elevation, soil um, um, pathologies like data. So by using the type of attributes and also fuzzy rules, we are going to predict the soil, uh, soil classify we are going to classify the soils by using fuzzy classifier after that uh, we should predict the soils uh, classify the soils um, we, we are uh, evaluating the performance of uh, existing system and proposed system and also evaluate the process by using existing system and proposed system uh, by using the parameters called time efficiency and accuracy uh, this is a complete uh, data flow diagram of our process let now let me now we discuss about the data complete demo of our process first you have to run home.java the home page uh, um, will appear in the so we have uh, our title is soil classification using data mining techniques just click um, on that frame uh, you can get uh, your uh, training data uh, set loading form in that you have to get your data set. The, this is uh, we have a soil microbial biomass.csv data set. After you choose a data set, the data set has been viewed here and that uh, any items are displayed here. After you uh, choose a data set, we have to you have to load the data set into the database. After the data set has been loaded into the database, you have to uh, you, you, you are viewing the data set here. Mm, if, data set is completely loaded into the database here we view the data set information that is called deviation protocol type then servers flow uh, like data after that we have to get the raw data and pre-process the data pre-processing is successfully completed after we get the pre-processed data then click the feature extraction process in that we have a, a microbiome name then number of countries 47 number of forests 15 number of lands 15 after we get the microbiomass in this uh, bare soil, soil uh, levels are here. After that we have to extract the levels. Biomass values are completed. After you have to filter the lands, then uh, you have to clear, you need click uh, forest area classification, grass area classification, cultivated area classification, fuzzy logic, like fuzzy logic rules. 
here uh, uh, rows are displayed here based upon this rows here we are uh, going to classify the data soils so just click the cultivated area just click the lands abstract and crop plan values as gets updated into the database after that you have to uh, click the abstraction button in this uh, we have a uh, cultivation uh, um, crops are displayed here after that you click the rules crop land classification rules are completed so based on the uh, soils here we are classifying the um, soil levels then click next button show area then cultivation so based upon the forest types here we are uh, going to uh, view the what are the uh, what are the crops to be planted based upon the soils by using the fuzzy rule rules has been uh, after you click the rules button rules has been generated then click view so based upon the rules here we are displaying the cultivation crops after that you have to click next then uh, based upon the biomass in the world total list of biomass in the world has been displayed here crop and land values has get updated into the database click abstract button then uh, create the sub rules class land land classification completed then click view total list of biomass in the world will be displayed here based upon the rules after that you have to after we classify the results here we are uh, uh, evaluating the uh, system by using fuzzy and then simple proper classifier then after that percentage evaluation precisions and recall values has been displayed here based upon the graph also displayed here after that you have to uh, exit the process this is a